I'm never going to end a session to where you guys get a long rest. The long rest will carry over the next morning or the next session. Yeah. That way you guys don't know if you got that full long rest or not. Landio, what is this? I authorize this. Is this like, um, fungi winner? What the hell? Um, I want to be crystal. Oh, this is a public game. I don't know how to play this. I'm trying to make it private, but I think we have to vote on it. Yeah. Do you actually have those dice, by the way? Uh, no, those are going to be uh, released soon. They're the new uh, dice that... Uh... Critical Roar is coming out with. Oh. It's uh, the... Whatchamacallit? It's the... Zephyr's... Um... Got it. Dice set. They're very... Yeah, they look... Or Everybody. I I don't know how to play this game. I don't either. Say? How did you knock me out? I don't know. What the hell? Uh, here he goes. Up, two, three, four. What the hell? I win. I don't know how, but I won. I'll be back. This is Bye. a different game than I thought it would have been. Nope, nope. Squirrels, they do. <laughs> Everybody, yeah. yeah, rock your body, yeah. Back streets, back. All right. Oh shit! That's... Kenny, yo, oh, Kenny. Therefore, I'll okay, cut Kenny. Now we just wait for our little fairy to get back. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Kenny, no. you learn how to yeah, Kenny, learn how to behave. I don't know. Who, I'm just blaming Kenny. Definitely. Yeah. Shouted at me a lot. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Still never got that lesson. 
Nope. How many, squ how many Squirtles does Squirtles take? Yeah, Squirtles. Today's Squirtle Day in uh, Pokemon Go. Squirtle Squad? Yep. I have Blastoise with sunglasses on. Got rid of Pokemon Go. I'm there were no raids. Based on, uh... Okay. <laughs> My sister sent me a list of events for, uh, the weekend I'm leaving. Because my niece's birthdays are right before mine. And she was like, Kendall's second birthday party. <laughs> Kendall's second birthday dinner. And I'm thinking to myself, why is she getting two birthday parties and dinner? And I was like, oh, she's turning two. I'm an idiot. I'm just going to go ahead and let that one go. I'll be there uh, here. for now. And uh, eighth. Okay. Are we all here? I am. Yeah. Wow. I know Kenny's mm -hmm. like in here, but I don't know if he's physically here here yet. He just got home, so um, I can do the recap of last week while we wait. Up um, to you, big so... dog. Okay, okay, Kenny, I love you. Um, last week, uh, you guys continued your travels, uh fairly safe travels um you ran into a human named kaisen luden who was pondering on to the stars um you held conversation with him uh turns out he's a navigator and uses the stars to navigate uh people hire him to lead them to where they need to go he was currently on a job and his employer was going through some ruins. Turns out that they were ruins of a very ancient, probably two eras old, um, home. Uh, you come to the grounds to find a woman who was going through things. You're not sure what, uh, she saw you, um, she did not like the idea of you being there, summoned some skeletons, and then fled to the inner uh, basement of the home. Um, you guys fought off some skeletons. Uh, you were victorious. You followed pursuit uh, going downstairs, and in doing so, you began to search doors, and Alistar decided to use his head to search one of the doors and in doing so he got blasted to kingdom come almost um after a semi-hard fight uh you vanquished the woman the necromancer um and you dispelled the magic circle that was keeping a man trapped uh you dispelled the magic circle, and you freed a man by the name of Alexander Holden. He was able to regain his true form, uh, regain his life and his restoration. He then paid you well. He gave you a chest full of platinum, um, then gave you also a whistle, a whistle 
if you ever needed help, to blow it, and he shall come. Uh, you, he left. What is that face for? <laughs> um, Don't worry about left. it, dog. Uh, he left, and you guys ventured back up the stairs. Um, you went to talk to Kaisen to inform him of his employer's demise. Uh, he did not seem distraught or care too much because he was already paid. So he was just there to uh, be there. Um, he held a conversation with Amaryllis for a bit. He perfected her marble. He uh, gave her dark vision as well. Um, what else? Uh, he offered to take you to his mentor's home so Amaryllis could speak to him. And he also gave you, uh, offered his services to guide you to a safe path to um, the High Elves Forest. Uh, you guys took him up on the offer and you guys began to bed down. Um, you guys are going to sleep and there you go. Is there anything anyone wants to do before they go to sleep? Okay. Amaryllis, Rasia. Yeah. No, I yeah, think I'm good. Do my nightly rituals. Okay. Uh -huh. And there's. Nothing you wanted to do, Rasia? No. Okay. Um, and then I need someone to roll the singular d20 for the night uh, for watch. Perception? Yeah, perception, sorry. Yeah, you. That was. 22. All right. Um... The watch goes by um, very uneventful. Nothing happens. You hear movement, but it just seems to be the wildlife. Uh, and you wake up the next morning having all taken a long rest. So make sure you have your daily spells prepared. Um, and anything you, uh, else you need to do, and when you're ready, let me know. Mm. Whoever gave me a box hitter is an idiot. Oh, Do 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 do. So we're up. You're up. Um, if there's anything you guys want to do right now, you can. Uh, are there uh, any woodland creatures? Uh, this the area you're in is more of an open field. There's probably sparse trees, maybe one or two, and probably a mile radius. Um. There's more rocks, if anything. Um, the ruins that you can clearly see now um, has maybe a tree or two, but you you don't think there's any like 
woodland creature like a bunny or anything um anything that you heard throughout the night was probably like a pack of wolves or predators of the night good Uh, and if everyone has their spells ready and everyone's ready, we can begin our day of travel. Okay. Um, due to Kaisen, Luden be, uh, being with the group, you do not have to make a survival check for finding camps at the night or making your way. Uh, you will have to uh, still roll a d20. Uh, so, so I need a d20 from somebody for potential encounters. So whoever would like to roll a d20, they can. Seven. All right. I need you to roll a d8 for me. What up, Tim? How you doing, brother? Um, going great. The day Tim goes D &D. by, and as the day goes, Kaisen, who's kind of in front of the group, off to, uh, like, giving you guys space, not trying to intrude in any conversation or anything, he stops, and he looks at you, uh, the group, and he's like, hmm, we... We'll need to find a place with cover. We're close, but we, we'll need to hurry. What's wrong? You, there, there's a sandstorm coming. Hmm. And thus... He, <laughs> he begins to go from a walk to more of a jog slash run now as he had he's no longer on the road he veers left into what you see to be trees and potential uh small not mountains but hills do you guys follow <laughs> oh absolutely I, yeah i'm fucking right behind him yeah. Okay. I don't have it. Uh, easy enough. Uh, as you, the four of you follow, he, you end up in a small grove of trees and what looks to be some sort of cave. Uh, he leads you to the edge of the cave, and thus, within a couple minutes, uh, sure enough very heavy sandstorm that lasts most of the day thus losing a day of travel i hate the sand it's coarse and it gets everywhere i do it do it <laughs> um so i'll need someone to roll a perception check for this night as you find yourself going to sleep in this cave uh 21 um the cave isn't that big um you think anything that lived in here does not live here anymore um and it's probably meant for travelers like yourself at this point um 21 all you hear is the scream of the winds and the storms um but nothing comes of it uh, if there's anything you want to do throughout the day while you're in the cave, let me know. Um, Amaryllis, if you want to chart some of your stars um, during that time frame, just let me know and I'll tell you how many hours you probably did it uh, to mark it off. Um, otherwise... I'm going to do that. Okay. Uh, you probably... I would say about six... Six to seven hours, uh, enough to chart of your um, 72. Nice. Um, but is there anything else you guys want to do while you're in this cave? If not, we can 
continue on to the next day. How many hours do you think? Like a, a good amount of time, right? About 11 hours-ish. I want to etch a picture of a sloth. The, the same one that I saw on a uh, old lady's neck. Okay. In one of the hilts daggers I'm wearing. Okay. Easy enough. No, oh, I thought you were going to do like cave paintings. <laughs> That's what I like to do. I was like, okay. I'm going to paint a sloth. They're going to be so confused. It'll be Everyone's so funny. Be so good. <laughs> but do you find rest? All of you. Except Alistar. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. When you find rest, you wake up. And when you wake up, you realize... You're not in your body. You're you're standing above your body. You're standing. You can see your friends. You can see Amaryllis, Luden, Hyde, Rasia. Some of them are asleep. Luden seems to be taking watch right now. And you see. Coming from each one of your friends, these light strings of some sort. You see one, uh, one of them coming off of you as well. You see the string that's attached to Luda and Amaryllis. They're kind of intertwined and going off into a distance. But what you notice that stands out to you most is you see a string that goes to Rasia, but right before it connects to her, you see this little small flame. A flame that is not burning heavily, but it's preventing that string to get to the body. Of Rasia. Right. Got no gas in it. Um. Gas on it. <laughs> um. And as you're observing all this, suddenly your body's pulled, pulled yeah. all the way to the west. And then I need everyone here to roll a D twenty for me. Oh, okay. 19. So, average odds. Interesting. Alistar. Mm -hmm. You find yourself in a small town. You hear cries. You see flames. As the town is burning. You're not in. You're not in the astral form you were before, but. You're in a body. You don't know whose body, but you're oh, in God. someone's body. And. All you hear is crying. And you watch. As the flames grow hotter and hotter, and suddenly you see people run across your view, but they're not people. Roll a perception check for me. Okay. Eleven. You see as these massive humanoid figures with torches in hand... And swords and great weapons are going from house to house, burning as they go, and pilfered, pillaging. Then you hear, you watch 
as these there's three of them they come closer to you and you you recognize them completely as goliaths and these goliaths are coming towards you with intent to kill it's about that time where suddenly a man appears out of nowhere directly in front of you blocking the way between you and them and with swift action you watch as the three goliaths fall before this man he turns around and looks at you child are you okay what is your name and you hear the name and you hear the voice it's a feminine voice you hear this girl cry out to him my name is Lydia do you wish to live or do you wish these invaders to take everything that's yours or a perception check 25 you recognize this man as clear as day as the man you saved two days ago alexander holden standing before lydia in the town of opal that is currently in flames and burning to the ground and you hear her say i want to be stronger i want to save my brother and he's like very well and you watch as he clenches his hand and blood begins to drip drink and the power you need will be there and you wake up in a sweat in a fear kaisen who is currently watching observing looks over at you are you okay Well, we have a few more hours till sunrise. I think some people we know may be in a lot of trouble. Oh. What do you know about Goliaths going into town and burning and pillaging them? They would only do so if someone did something to them first. Huh. But typically they stay to themselves as long as everyone stays out of their territory, they'll stay out of anyone else's territory. They're not massive force by any means. So it's not like they could charge onto Emerald City without just being slaughtered. What about a town like Opal? Well, depending on who, yeah, it would probably be a slaughter. <sighs> Last I know. They have no armed forces. They have a small militia of the townspeople. They have the church. But they don't really have a way of defense. I'd like to go over and can I slightly well like quietly not waking up Rossia and amaryllis or not disturbing them 
wake up hide? Uh, roll stealth check. Or sleight of hand. Either or. Whatever uh, you feel. Nine on the stealth. Um, you, being a Goliath. <laughs> Follow me. Two damn feet. <laughs> you trip. And you. It's not that you wake everyone up. You make enough noise that if Amaryllis. Amaryllis is probably already actually semi awake anyway. She only needs six hours of sleep or four hours of sleep to get a long rest so she might just be still meditating so i would say she would know you're moving rasia depends on how deep a sleep she's in um rasia roll a constitution check to see how deep of sleep you're in you wake up too <laughs> so um as what was that noise alistar goes to wake up hide you end up waking up everybody uh, hi everybody how's it going great i'm not awake yet <laughs> i was doing better up until 30 seconds ago run over and go back to bed hmm Let's go back to sleep. It'll be fine. Yeah. No, oh, I'm awake. You can easily go back to sleep if you wish. Um, and if not, you will not get a long rest. No, but... like real life. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You'll, you'll get... You'll get enough rest to where you won't get exhaustion, but you won't get a long rest if you stay up now. Just, just go back to sleep, Rossi. Oh, this does. This is okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And I'd like to motion Hyde and Amaryllis to join me in like a different corner of the cave. I thought. So. I'm still meditating, oh. but now I'm probably just cracking my eye open and fully aware of my surroundings. I'm like doing like some like hand motions, like you two over here. Mine? Not you! Mine. Shut up, bird. <laughs> bird. <laughs> I Why definitely talk to him like that? walk okay, over shh, there. Shh, 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 shh! Over here! Over here! All right, so uh, I think we've got a couple of things to worry about here. Hmm? Well, you know how I, we always have our bad dreams? Yes. No. I think I may have... Oh, we have bad dreams here, by the way, Amaryllis. Really bad dreams. Um, I think I might have just had my worst one ever. Oh, great. No. Worst of... Yeah, okay. I like so, that. So, first off, I dreamt that there was, like, strings coming out of all of us. Which, by the way, Amaryllis, yours and Kaisen's are kind of intertwined. I don't know what any of this means. But Rasia's before it reached her... Are you her, sure you didn't have any of the mushrooms? I have been mushroom-free for 27 days. All right. I just got my badge. Who made that for you? Uh, you know, I whittle. That's fair. You saw people dying? You saw Actually, people dying like three days ago. Yes. Uh. I think Opal's in a lot of trouble. What? Grandma? I don't know. I, I saw Goliaths burning the town to the ground. Like and then, I was inside Lydia. Okay. Now, when you uh, say inside, no, 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 not not like that. I mean, like I was her. Is this some kind? Were you having some kind of role playing dream because you failed to get the girl? So now you're envisioning and dreaming of a way to rescue her so that she'll finally come back to you. No, 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 no. This, this was real. This was real. I was her. And then, you know, Doofus that we saved the other day? Fuck, oh, yes. Um, 
Hmm? Alexander? Yeah. He was there. Wait. Vampiric and Captain he America. Made Lydia drink his blood to become stronger? Oh my. I don't know, but it felt very real. That sounds awesome. Maybe we want to send mine to Opal to see if this actually happened? I mean, fine, do you want to go fly over to Opal Village real fast and do some, you know, bird eye viewing? Mine? I don't know, mine. So I kind of lean into mine and I'm like, Alistair's having a trip. I just need you to go to Opal Village and see if everyone is okay. Mine, mine. Good job, mine. And mine bursts into its dragon form and flies out the cave and heads off. Ludin looks at the three of you and the, the fairy dragon that just flew out. Um, did your bird just... Yes. Yes. Okay. You get used to it. You really don't. You really don't. Yeah, you'll get used to it. You really won't. Mine's a special kind of seagull. Yeah, seagull. Interesting. Is everything all right? No. no not at all. Hey. Well, we have couple hours till sunrise and many days ahead of us so whatever you guys would like to do let me know yeah um do i i remember go ahead what go ahead talking to myself oh oh very tired do we remember what those goliaths look like like they didn't all, all the different tribes none of them like wear anything there's no like distinguishing pattern not that you would know of would i know who these goliaths are um you know as a goliath yourself you know each goliath tribe uh, specifically has different markings like you have markings um, there are different colors um, representing tribes, and then there's different colors representing specific clans within those tribes. So do we what know I... what clan of Goliaths we ran into? Mm. I'm talking to, to Alistair. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, didn't we say it was the, uh... I'm imagining it's the one that he said are around here. Big fat war pack, right? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> that would be the... No, wait, give me a second here. Gotta go through my notes. Search for the T, I'm pretty sure. The Tasmanian Devils. Exactly. Takanu. Thank you, Takanu. I just got there. <laughs> T-H-A-K-A-N-U. Uh, so I imagine that's who we fought on the road. You're, you're the expert here, bud. I'm I'm relying on you on this one. Uh, can I do like a some kind of check to remember if I remember what these people looked like? Yeah, uh, roll history check. Cool. That is a twelve. Twelve. Um, it wasn't a hard DC. Um, as a Goliath, you you notice their markings are of the Takanu tribe. Uh. But you're not sure what clan within the Takanu tribe. 
Got you. So, the ones we killed on the road were definitely Takanu. I just don't know what tribe they come from inside of it. This is the last time to leave anyone alive, okay? I mean, in my defense, I did try to kill him. I think we all did, didn't we? Oh, shit, that one did get away, didn't it? Yeah. When I think back to the dream I just had, did I see any markings on these Goliaths? Um, with your low perception check on the Goliaths, I would say no. Okay, I was just wondering. So, Ryan comes back with bad news. Should we? No. Uh, should we? I am. Uh, I will absolutely go back to Opal City. Oh, Opal City, quick, quick, in in a hurry. I just. Oh, did I also talk about the part where uh, Rossia's lifeline had a flame on it? Ryan. Yeah, there was that as well. Oh, yeah? I, uh, I don't know how I feel about that, but it's got me a little worried. I mean, she's just going to keep it a secret on? until it's a problem. What? Hey. Did I try <laughs> putting water on it? You said it was on fire. Did you try putting water on it? He's a Goliath. You probably tried to pee on it. Do I have a like a like a like a like a water pouch or anything on me? Mm -hmm. I'd like to take it and dump it over Rossia at this moment. Oh no! Oh no! Oh my. Rossia, you're naturally a little wet already, being a water genasi, but suddenly you got a lot wetter and you wake up. <laughs> um, so like he just pours water on me? Yeah. Okay, so like I want to make no sudden movements other than my eyes just opening up being like, hmm. Did it rain? <laughs> how you, uh how you feeling down there? In the cave? I mean I mean I, I look down at like my skin that's just like the water. Uh well. Do I I'm, see any steam come off of her? I'm awake again. Thanks for that five minute nap. I don't think it worked, Amaryllis. Oh. I don't think what worked? Oh. Uh, nothing. Nope. Fucked up now. Might as well tell her. He said that All he right. saw strings coming out of us and that yours was on fire. So I said, did you try putting water on it? And this was his solution. Oh, also, Opal might be burning to the ground. Just adding that Jesus in there, too. Jesus Christ. I mean, yeah. Or I mean, whatever equivalent to my Jesus Christ, whatever. Um, I think well, it would be that's... Verstopolis with you, wouldn't it? Have you just thought about waking me up regularly and not pouring water on me to tell me this? I mean, in all fairness, you are made of water, kind of, so I don't even just, like, absorb in. Yeah, no, 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 I'm not, like, upset. I'm just, like, this is a little unusual. I, you know, I, I just maybe, maybe, maybe. Do, do you feel cooler? What happened with us? Do I feel cooler? We're in a cave. It's pretty chill in here. Sometimes I don't think I should use my head. Sometimes you absolutely should. Jason, how you doing, bud? You having fun over there? Are you guys normally like this? Yeah, uh, more often yeah, than very, not, very, unfortunately. Very much so, yeah. Interesting. Uh, that's not the word I'd use. It, since we're all awake, we can 
start our journey if you like. Actually, we're gonna. Uh, how many days travel would it be to turn around and go back to Opal City from right here, right now? Six days. Six days. Oof. Is there any way to speed that up at all? No. We probably should have rode the dragon. I mean, I was took off. Um, too small. Shit. <laughs> somebody could have rode the dragon. Yeah, Amaryllis. Yes. <laughs> the druid could do the most good. I mean, I could try calling him back. Nope. No, 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 it's okay. It's a three-day journey, or, yeah, three-day journey by air, so. Where are we going again, by the way? Going to the High Elf Forest, remember? We have stuff to do oh, there. Oh, that's right, that's right. What are the odds that Opal is actually in trouble? Like, is that like a, was it like a prophecy kind of dream? Or was it like a, this, this may come to pass unless you uh, uh, have a heart and learn the spirit of Christmas kind of thing? Well, I was inside Lydia. <laughs> I'm sorry, um, what? You gotta have Not... to, you're gonna have to rephrase that every time. I was inside of her body, like I could see through Excuse her eyes. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. I was continue. I was, I, I was her, and then oh. our 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 friend that we saved the other day, Alexander, came out of nowhere, and he was like, "Blah, would you like to feel better?" Blah, and she's she a vampire. Like, I don't know what that is, but maybe. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, he was like, "Here, drink this blood." And you'll be able to do stuff. Definitely vampiric behavior. Do we know what a vampire is? Are, are, are there are there any like vampires? None of you know what a vampire, vampire is. is. Oh, I asked like last a, week. No such like blood sucker cryptids. No. None of that information is known by the world. It was lost to the ages. So in other words, this guy just made the girl who I was potentially in love with drink his blood. Uh, Man, I took crazy that people. You were don't potentially I? in love with her if you told her that her brother was annoying, and then her mother kicked you out and told us that we can never buy bakery from their shop ever again. I mean, can we all at least agree the kid was annoying? Oh, 100 percent. Thank you. Yeah. He, uh, Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. But aren't all children annoying? No. Oh, there's actually some really nice ones. No, there are some fantastic kids who are definitely not annoying. My brother told me I was always a very unannoying kid. I think we're getting sidetracked here. I mean, a little bit, but that's because I'm super worried about Grandma Sona right now. Uh, I, if and there's anybody who would be fine, it'd be her. Against uh, Alexander? I don't think this was Alexander's doing. I think he was trying to help, it seemed. But he was still there. True. Letting people drink his blood. I can see where that would seem bad. But yeah, that is kind of freaky. That would be like me cutting my hand open and telling you to drink my blood right here, right now. Let's not do that. We'll table that for later. Will I grow wings? Exactly! <laughs> You know that? Be a fairy, drink my blood. I, just... I mean, that sounds kind of reasonable. Yeah. As long as I grow wings, I'm in. By the way, is this guy just listening to everything we're talking about? Every fucking thing that's why I asked him. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. Are you sure? Positive. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever heard hey. of anybody that, you know, drinks blood or, you know, floats around? Yeah, I was just about to ask him that. Yeah. You know anything like that? Let's roll a history check. That's a natural 20 for a 24. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> everything about this. We actually <laughs> ran into Belmont Richter, and, uh... <laughs> what? Did you, did you um, say your last name was Van Helsing? Yeah. Fact. Drink blood. I know there was a species of demon that used to do that. Of course there was, because that's, that's fucking not... par for the course. But... Can What's you describe... Can you describe the individual? Uh... 
tall man suit after he got, you know, all spiffed up. Uh, Told us to blow a whistle if we ever need him. And he'll come. Hey, here's the whistle. Don't. Don't blow that. Don't blow that. I was saving it for that t- that the next time we see uh, uh, that one guy that Rossia is... Retropolis. Is yeah, that guy. Yeah. Mr. Mistopheles, yes. That way he can get absolutely bodied. <laughs> you know, all the stuff that I imagine Amaryllis actually saying... That is definitely 100% accurate. Yep. Um, as I was saying, um, there was an ancient race. Texts aren't really very accessible to most. But I remember reading in the previous era, before the sun, there was a race that lived on this land bef- before the humans, before the elves, before the dwarves. They used blood to survive, I believe. Were they mean? No. They lived their lives like most people. They were almost near immortal, though. They just lived off but blood pudding. Blood cool. and magic. Well, if anything, your girlfriend got an upgrade. I don't know. She's not my girlfriend. Um, we know. Yeah. You did try, though. Yeah, it kind of scares me a little bit, I'm not going to lie. Especially if you go back and you know, the town's really in trouble and you go up. And then she kicks my ass? Yeah. Fair, I was sure she could kick your ass before then. Okay, mm-hmm. you know what? Would you have fought back? Maybe. How long did it take for uh, Steven Seagull to uh, <laughs> go and come back from the high elf wars last time? Like three days? I think it was about three. I think it was three there and then three back, so like six in total. Okay. What do you guys want to do? Eight days. It was eight it days, was four there, four back? Yeah. We... Group vote. Do we turn around and make sure that you know the consequences of our actions uh, end well, or do we keep pressing on and say, "Fuck it, they attacked us first Well, remember that one how... time Alistair had a dream and he was in the body of that one of his uh, of his friends in Sapphire Village when I first showed up. And then it turned out that that event actually happened. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh. Probably actually just actually happening right now. Yeah. Not, like, prophetic. I mean, I had dreams that y'all got, like, dismembered and shit, and y'all are still kind of here, so. Maybe yours was a prophetic dream. I don't know what that means. Maybe Grandma Sona fixed it. I, uh... And in all fairness, though, how would have that Goliath that got free known we came from Opal? They're just attacking anything close. They kick their ass. That's... They are a vindictive species. Yeah, my spec speculation. They attack Opal because there's no walls. There's no defenses. It's easy and quick. So they're just bullying anyone they can. Blood for blood. (sighs) 
Do I know who the chief of this tribe is, by the way? Like that, the, the leader of this whole group? No. Okay, fair know. enough. Group boat. What do you guys want to do? I'm concerned for Grandma. I think we should go back. Same. I'm pretty sure Grandma can hold her own, but I wouldn't mind seeing her again. Plus, we can track the tribe if they're actually definitely there fucking on people. What on people? Fucking on people. Uh, more to go? I will lead the way if you wish. Let's go! As fast as uh, possibly can. Alright. Uh, you guys begin? Use the dash action to cut the time in half, I believe. Back. Uh, with the cost of exhaustion every day. Yeah, if we don't take long rest. No, I'm saying if you run at full speed every day, you'll have exhaustion the next morning, even with long rest. You would need the next day to help the exhaustion. But you continue on and roll a d20 as you begin to travel back to Opal City. Pretend I did roll that. <laughs> you absolutely rolled that. That is Shit. true. I need you to... Oh, God. So it's six days. One day of travel. Blizzard. One day of travel in the books. Um, nothing happens. You guys... Make your way with uh, Kaisen as your guide. You're able to find safety on your night's rest as well as your um, watches. Uh, we will go on to the next day. I need another D20 from one of you guys. 14. 14. Another day of uneventful travel. Uh, same thing. If there's anything you guys want to do um, as you guys are going to bed, let me know. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to kind of speed through this. Roll another d20 for me. I don't think that's humanly possible. <laughs> I said 1d20. <laughs> You should have just taken the 27, my god. Can we, can we take the 11? That's, that's a natural one. <laughs> I need you to roll me a d8 for me. Motherfucker. No, what? Hey, uh, hey Jess, here comes 37 hyenas. <laughs> I will eject myself from this game. With a natural one. Don't talk to me. It begins to rain. Thank goodness. And with the rain, there comes thunder and lightning and ash. And you guys hear a battle in the sky as you see bolts of lightning that normally would shoot down to streak across you can't stand you. the open air and balls of fire raining down on the ground. Oh my god. And soon you see Amaryllis 
with passive perception of 23, you see what looks to be a humanoid fi figure falling, falling very, very quickly to the ground. And then you just watch as the figure hits the ground and you watch as the earth erupts and just a plume of smoke in that direction, probably a mile away. The rain begins to rain harder. The lightning has stopped. But the ash of fire has not. Oh, fuck. I just like to say somebody fell from the sky and landed over there. Let's go. I'm sorry, what? Let's go. A person just fell from the sky and landed over there where that uh, boom of smoke is coming from. Let's not pretend like we're fucking new here. This has happened like three times before. Let's just go. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do, uh, do, 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 you don't have that feature, never mind. Don't worry about it, what I was about to say. Uh, you guys begin to travel. It takes you about a couple minutes, and you come upon this open crater, smoldering with fire, rock melted. At the center of the crater, you see a body. A familiar body of Calico. Get wrecked, nerd. Uh, miss, missing his arm. Oh. And his hair burned almost all the way up to his ears. Would you say he's reverted he back a, to his what? former that we saw before him? Uh, no. It, he's very wounded in his true form. Okay. And that's when you hear a voice behind you. Oh. Oh. Seems you have taken the wrong path, little bunnies. Oh. Did a so this, this man just called me a bunny? <laughs> yeah. And uh well the thing. Um I, is it a is it a familiar voice? Oh, oh fucking whistle. You've heard this voice once before in the underneath shrine. Blow the whistle. Blow the goddamn whistle. How far away is he? You yeah, haven't turned was, around. Was oh, I've turned around. Yeah, turn, turning the fuck around. Yeah. Like, immediately. Roll perception check. Cool. Nice. Fucking four. Not behind you. Anymore, anyway. He's up. Oh, cool. Hey. Look around for the weird, creepy fucking voice. Let me finish with my little brother first. Then I'll deal with you. I'm blowing you a whistle. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay um... over there? <laughs> Sneakily puts the whistle to my lips and it just goes, tweet tweet. Tweet tweet. Tweet tweet. <laughs> you go to blow the whistle. Oh fuck! Here we go. Uh, oh, of course he's got the no whistle magical no, I, item. No. <laughs> and there were pipes of haunting this shit. I haven't used these yet. And till you hear a voice behind you again. <laughs> Hello, friends. It's nice to see you again. And you see Thank a little boy. God. Oh no, it's okay. Not With red, tan skin. Yep. Fiery red hair. With a fox. Fox in tow. Shit. <laughs> and he begins to walk towards the crater. Uh-oh. Hmm. Anyone know what the fuck we're supposed to do here? <laughs> I I just honestly just let it happen. Just I let it know. happen. I mean, there's so many things that can go wrong with that, but alright, cool. Is he? Where is he? 
I'll do the perception check to find out where this motherfucker is. Who? Y'all know who. Where? Where is Retro Man? Retro Man. Roll, <laughs> roll a perception check. I am Turbo Man. He is currently holding the body of Calico with one hand in the crater. This mother. And... That's not very nice. And the boy looks down to the fox. Go. And watch oh, no, the no. fox jump onto Calico's sh shoulders, and they both vamp and vanish and appear behind you. Kaisen, looking, it's like, I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to heal this man. And he turns around, and you watch as the clouds begin to part and lights of radiant energy begins to emanate of stars and he seems to be healing does he and the boy looks at ritual place it pains me to see you this way and it pains me more to have to do what I have to do. And you watch. And the sun begins to shine. And it shines directly on the boy. And as the boy reaches the sun, you watch as that little boy turns into six four ish his hair goes down to his back his toga that he was wearing is probably too small on him but it's safe enough you don't see anything shirt cocking it yeah I told you he wasn't your average little boy i'm sorry friend but you will have to die. And he raises his hand. And those clouds that are still in the sky, you watch as... <laughs> balls of earth and fire begin to rain. Okay, military artillery. Time to go! <laughs> On the ground. How you save that guy? In the crater. And you watch as one by one begin to plummet into the crater and explode with balls of fire. And you just watch as the boy stands there and weeps. As the rain of fire continues to fall. Are we safe? Yeah. You you feel the heat of the fire, but not enough for it to matter. Calico's still there. He's being healed, right? Correct. And Metropolis is out there throwing his temper tantrum. No. Nope. Where's the fox? On top of Calico, sitting on his chest. Okay, because I thought they... Damn, that was... So everyone's still here. Yeah, everyone's still here. Yeah. yeah. So man's just the ass in the crater. There's a crater that's probably a good thirty feet from you guys. Retropolis was in the center. Yeah. Um, the boy is on the rim. You guys are about ten feet behind him, and then behind you is Calico, the fox, and Kaisen. Okay. So I'd like to... The middle of this, y'all? I think we should... I don't think this is our fight. I don't know. Kaisen, I think it... um... Yeah. This is a normal Tuesday. Tuesday it's... for us. Yeah. I mean, she's not wrong. It's... Not Tuesday, but okay. 
Oh, well, you know, oh. normal afternoon. Feels like a Tuesday. On a random weekday. Um. Every time. Yours too? Yeah. I think, uh. Look, do you, do you want to tag team this, this fiery bitch? Or do you want to grab Calico and get the fuck out? Or run? Or what? Like, this is a lot. I wish to see uh, what what's happening to Ristropris. There, you roll perception check. Is he alive? You currently can't see through the meteor storms that are dropping onto the but cavern. What's still happening? Oh, it's still happening. Oh, Jesus Christ. The boy turns around. Friends. Giant basketball playing boy. Yep. <laughs> My name is High King Sirius. Archfey Lord of Fire, Son of the Sun. It's about to say. Okay. So you're his kid? Mm -hmm. Who's kid? No. I'm <coughs> talking out loud. I am no one's kid. I'm sorry. Marilla's just sweating bullets. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. You had to see this. But I didn't think he would take action against his own. Satisfied. We were family. He was like a son to me. You're talking about Retropolis, right? He took action first? He began. From what I saw, he took. He tried to take Calico's life. Pretty close to it, wasn't it? Very close. If I hadn't intervened, you would have been dead. Indeed. Now, what are the five of you doing? We're going to try to go save Opal from stupid shit we did like three days ago. Hmm. Opal seems fine to me. Does it? Oh. Yes. Stares intently at Alistair. I that, you know, the last time I had a dream, it was real, okay? I'm just saying. Also stares intently at Alistair. Okay, you know what, everybody? If you, um, if you let me finish. This really was a dream about you wanting to be inside of Lydia because she dumped you because you called her brother annoying. No. Just biting my hand going, Arr! A third of the village was burned down. Huh? There was maybe 200 casualties, but an unknown force appeared. Force I haven't seen in a long time. Stopped the would-be invaders for them to retreat, and then continued on west. Oh yeah, we're uh... taking. About 30 people with him, I think. 30 people? Yes. They went willingly. I bet they did. But there is no cause to be alarmed otherwise. I guess we're 
you're from, I guess not. But I think that's entirely all my fault. Not exactly the takeaway I'm getting from this. If you will it, I will go and check on the village personally myself. We already have a... Time's on it. Yeah. He... It'll take him a while, but he's on it. He's about three days out. Oh. I can, I can get there in less. And if you wish, I can summon him back right now. Or I, I mean, go. I guess if you are, if you're volunteering. If you wish, I can summon him Fire. to me. Give him the information and then send him to you. Uh, out loud. What did she say? I heard liar, but I was like, I said, uh, I said sire. Sire. Oh, sire. Okay. It's whatever you, group of you wish. You give me a great deal of hope. Oh, yeah? Yes. Okay. That's... In what way? Yeah, that's new. You gave me the sight and vision that one of my own is still alive. And knowing that couldn't make me happier. And you saved her. So again, if you wish, I can go there and I will protect it with my life. What do you guys think? Plus, I like Grandma Sona's cookies. I also like Sona's cookies. We all like Grandma Sona's cookies. They are good. Very good. I can't deprive you of Grandma Sona's delicious cookies, so I'll take mine back. And with a wave of his hand, a portal appears and mine wraps around his body as you see the purple fey dragon. Oh. Hmm. Hello, friend. Now, is there if there's anything else you need of me? Is Calico gonna be okay? He will be fine. Are you gonna take him? Yeah, I will. Where is and... Rotopolis? I was gonna heal him so good. Right now. Uh, you turn around yeah. and that whole crater. There's nothing. Just. Ash, fire, and brimstone. If there was anything in there, it's reduced to nothing. Uh. <laughs> he walks over to Kaisen and is like, Thank you for healing my friend. Uh, yeah, yeah, any time. Um, do you know your hair is slightly on fire? Yes. The sun does that to you. Right, that's why I stick with the stars, they don't. 
Yeah. They aren't as harsh. And you watch as the three of them vanish. Calico, uh, Circeus, and the fox. Luden. What in the hell just happened here? I also, uh -oh. go ahead. Can I walk over to the crater? Yeah. Do I see anything in there? Pile of ash, rubble, and it looks like Operation Scorched Earth. Yeah. If he was in here, he's dead, dead guys. No, if he was in there, he's not happy. He's not dead, dead. <laughs> we're we're not getting off that easy. There's no fucking way he's dead. I don't know. This looks like a really hard thing to get out of. I don't know. Maybe teleportation magic. Did you call him Sire? Yes, I did. Is he like super important where you're from? I mean, yes, he's the king. The of, king. Of, yeah, you know how I talked about how there's, you know, uh, my Fey Lord. There's, uh, Caleb, yeah, there's, there's 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 courts and all yeah. the courts and different. He, he's in charge of of all that. He's in, he's in charge of everybody. Okie dokie. Well, as long actually, as this... hasn't been seen for a very long time. So I'm actually, I don't know That's why I called him sire. How how do you how do you talk to the person who's in charge of your entire realm? Do you imagine meeting your god? I don't have one. Can you imagine meeting a god? We have. No. Oh my god. Oh, we just dead. Yeah. It was okay. I, that's She's just not like. down to earth for somebody who's been staying on the sun for a while, though. That's. First of all, that's. Funny as hell. And uh is is that where he stays? Is is in the sun? We all presume so. Holy shit. It's met Superman Prime. I don't know who that is, but he was the first. Yeah. Like the the very first? Legends say it was the first Arch Fey Lord ever. We're gonna have to talk. About uh, what? Uh, I need uh, Fey 101 history and lords in like a small compact class. Oh, I can do that right now. Cool. All right, so. This is the hierarchy of all of the Arch Fey Lords that you'll need to know, all right? On the top of the order is uh, Lord of the Sun Sirius. You just met him. He was the little boy with the fox that turned into the giant basketball player man, right? And he's in charge of everything. Then you have the second ring of lords, which is the Lord of Fire, Retropolis, who just got bodied in this mine, this mine crater right here. You have the Lord of Thunder, Calico, who got bodied by Retropolis, who got bodied. And then you have Lord Rinsuni, who I'm sure you're aware of, right? And then you have the third and final ring of Archfey Lords, which is Lord of the Wind, Miranus, and Lord of the Moon, Caleth. You skipped two. Yeah. Uh, go back again to Lord of, uh, right before Kyleth, Caleth. Lord of the Wind, Miranus? Yeah. So... This is the information you would know, um, uh, Emeros. The High Arch Fey of the Sun, King High King uh, Sirius. He's the original 
uh, being of the Fey realm. Then there was two uh, Archfeys after him. Hi, uh, Archfey of the Water, Runin, who you have met, and then... I don't have that one on my hierarchy. Uh, I'll, I'll send it to you. Um... When I sent it to you before, I might have messed up. I have I have an archfey hierarchy, but but it only says Sir, Sirius, uh, Retropris, Calico, Rinsuni, Marinus, and Caleb. I know I I've changed that a long time ago. I forgot to edit it. Uh, um, and then there is the archfey of the earth, Flora. Um. Then there was the Archfey of the Fire, Retropolis, uh, the Archfey of the Ice, Rinsuni, Archfey of Thunder, Calico, Archfey of the Moon, Caliph, and Archfey uh, of the Air, Marinus. Are you going to have to redo my hierarchy then? I will do that right now. Cool, got the breakdown. 50. I think I got it all covered. I appreciate that, Amaryllis. Just the more you know, the more headaches you get. I don't know. Cool. Great. Uh, where the fuck are we going now? I uh, had no idea. <laughs> I'm. Uh, uh, I guess we're still on. You know, now that we've walked back. Two days? Hmm. I'm pretty sure that, you know... Which means you only have ten days uh, to get to Emerald, and then four days to get to Opal, if you do, uh, depending on what you want to do. And then, uh, oh. We can still go and see what Strivo Goliath's fucking quick. We can go follow Kaisen to his. Mentor. Ash. Yeah. You, you already know, like, the tribe that did it. It was, uh, it was indeed, uh, uh, Cancu. I don't even have it open. I don't even, Thant, whatever I said earlier. Kakanu? Kakanu. Kak. Kak. Um. So, whatever you guys want to do, let me know. What are we doing? Are we just gonna go at, go back the way we came? Now that we've tried to go back the way we came? So that way we could go back the way we came? And then I think we should go back the way we came. Yeah. Fuck. But what if we Agreed. go back the way we came and it's not the way we came? Then we'll what just go we... back. Yeah, then we'll just go back the way we came. d and in a nutshell, folks. Uh, should we just go to the High Elf Forest, maybe? <laughs> I think we'll go meet the Dementor. That's 100%. all along the way. Yeah. The Dementor? <laughs> yes. The Mentor. The... Uh, oh. Tyson's, uh Mentor. <laughs> it is along the way. Like, you have to hit that person's house, hit Emerald City, and then hit the High Elf Forest. Like, you'll be going through all that thing, all those things to get to the High Elf Forest. Let's go. Okay, All roll right. a d20 for me. We are still doing no perception checks at night. We just doing travel perception, uh, travel, uh, travel so roll d20. Yeah. Travel rolls. Whose turn is it? Uh, Amaryllis uh, brought death, so uh, whoever... I think it's, it's Rossi is next. Yeah. Should I think Rossi did it travel before, travel right? Again. I did it right before um, I mean, I can do it again. What is it again? This is D20. Just... 
17. 17. Right. Roll a d8 for me. Six days. Uh, you have a safe day of travel. You actually gain a day of travel with this. Yeah. Because uh, Kaisen's um, lead. Um, Uh, 14 days of travel. So, instead of 14 days of travel, it'll take a 13. Um, but yeah, Ooh. so roll a D. 20 for me as the next day occurs. Yeah, me. On it. Twenty. Twenty. Uh. Another safe days worth of travel. Uh, ne uh, next day of travel. I'll do. Sixteen. All right. Another safe days worth of travel. All right. Next person. Next victim. Amaryllis, your turn again. I'm going. I feel like uh, six. Uh, another safe day of travel. <laughs> uh, um, you're on your, you're on your, uh, you're on your way, and Luden, or uh, Kaisen, uh, stops again, and he's like, "Oh, we are." But a day travel away from Emerald City. Normally, most roads have some sort of markers of some sort to tell you how far away you're from the city. But this road in particular has a natural building that I use as a day travel. And he points and about a good two miles down the road, you see a singular building with four trees, two in the front and two in the back. It's pretty far away still, but you begin to make your way down the road. Uh, and as you get closer, you realize it is a brick building um, with a sign above the door, two uh, giant windows on the side, and a uh, double doors in the front and the sign uh above the door is titled ogvin emporium oh uh, you guys want to go in absolutely let's yeah. go into the weird brick buildings <laughs> um It'll be fine i've said that today that's a good point. Um, Tyson opens the door and gestures for you guys to walk in as he holds the door for all of you. I walk in. Same. Um, say thank you as I walk past, though. You're welcome. Um, as the four of you walk in, the first thing that sticks out to you is... The room, the entry room, there are beautiful flowers and trees in like the sides of the corners. And then there's like a front desk and then an open space of like benches of things and everything. It's really just chaotic mess past the um, front desk. But the front desk has flowers on it too. And then there's like a singular bell to ring. Uh, that you assume is to get the attention of whoever owns this establishment. Um, Amaryllis, with your passive perception, um, you realize that some of these flowers you've never seen before, be it they're native to this realm. But, there are one or two flowers that are actually native to the Fey realm in here.
Okay. That's all I have to state as. I'll go over to him. So flowers? Yeah. Okay. What is everyone else doing during this time frame? Taking a look around and following oh, uh, Tyson's lead. Tyson uh, is kind of standing at the doorway. Um, mm -hmm. And he said, oh, if they're normally around, uh, just ring the bell if you... I pick up the bell and freaking ring it. It's like, you know, those ding, ding, you don't have to pick it up or anything. <laughs> I ding the bell. <laughs> uh, you ding the bell. Emerilus, you're the first one to notice as one of the plants on the counter begins to move. Nope. Nope. And shoot, uh, shoots out. You see face to face a small fairy. Beautiful black hair and a blue dress. Customers. Hello. Hello. Hi. What? Oh, a fairy. I haven't seen one of my kind in forever. Feels like. Huh. I haven't seen a f one of my kind since I got here. That's it not is... true. Oh. Oh, is sorry. It... Y'all go ahead. It is quite a adventure here. I've been here for maybe a year now, this realm's time. I've been here, what, a month, maybe? Two months. Close. Oh. Yeah. These travel days. <laughs> Man. Yeah, we've had a lot of... You're, you guys are already in the next calendar month of moonstone uh <laughs> is, is there an air raid going on right there, i mean yeah i'm not i see 130 get down dude uh yeah i'm not gonna do that they fly around my house all the time oh god i i, I have nothing to say okay and mike picks up everything uh, okay <laughs> um but she looks, um, what can I do for you guys? Are you welcome to Ogvin Emporium? And she does like a little can gesture. My name is Delilah. Cute. Thank you. You're tall. You're small. I am very small. Just gonna sit around and state the obvious? Yes. Cool. My husband is... Should be around here somewhere. Not sure where, though. He's normally working on something. Normally when he hears the bell, he comes. And around that time, she says that you hear a... <laughs> as, like, explosion goes off into, like, a back corner. I think we found him. Oh. <laughs> and you guys watch as... A gnome walks forward. <laughs> what can I do for you guys? No, you did not. No, oh, you Jesus did not. Christ. No, you did not. <laughs> I'm fucking done, dog. You cannot. No, nope. nope. no. You guys got a bard back there somewhere that's like no. Not dead? No. No. <laughs> you are not going to take my character and voice him, dog. This ain't fucking critical role. I, that, no, uh, no, no. Bullshit! He came from my head! It's fucked up. That's my shit. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Okay. By the way, he's the first one in his cannon to seal the deal. Just saying, uh! It's true. Well, I mean, somebody might have, but he kind of died. <laughs> Technically, Thorgrim was the first one to seal the oh. deal. Oh! So, ha ha ha! I missed that one. Alright. <laughs> But anyway. I married a hot elf, but go ahead, sir. 
not only did you marry the hot elf, you had two kids. Yeah, so fuck a you. <laughs> As triplets come from the other side. Oh, shit. Okay. No, yeah. No, 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 no. <sighs> what can I do for you guys? You want something to blow up? I can make things blow up. Who the fuck are you? Sorry, did you say blow up? Blow up, yes. I also can fix gear. I also have gear that I can give you. I have everything for sale. What were you taking trade for stuff like that? Ooh, what do you got? I had this nifty bow, and I pull out Ignis Arcus. He... Hmm, what can I... Um, he looks at the bow. Ooh, I can give you... Hmm, what can I give you? Exploding Jeez. arrows? I could give you exploding arrows. But, I also... He hands you back the bow, comes uh, back around, and he has a uh, bottle in his hand, and then uh, goggles in his hand. I'll trade you these two things for that bow. Deal. Okay. Any hands? Uh, you know, you now have an ever smoking bottle. Oh no! And uh, goggles of night. Okay. I also can do adjustments, you know, like to your gear, like that sword that you have. That's probably shitty, but if you give it to me, I can make it better. Talking to me? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, that'd be wonderful, my dude. What can you do? Um, give me, give me. Uh, yeah, here, take it. He takes your sword and runs away. I'm gonna get that back, right? Just got Jack, son. <laughs> I whispered that to the fairy. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, his workshop is on the other side. Okay, just making uh, sure. Yeah, you're fine. Uh, is there anything else you guys have that you want to trade or for us, for us to inspect? We would love anything. Oh, oh, what about the glowing rocks? Oh, yes. Can you inspect this? And I hand her the glowing stone that I got, even though I know it's an arcane power source. But yes. She, she like, tries... To hold it, is, it, but yeah, she's it a is a map. <laughs> she's like, that's exactly what he needs. I'll give you a thousand gold for it. Jesus uh, Christ. You can keep your thousand gold. That's, How about I, we spot? I, I want exploding arrows. She. Yeah. Okay, I'll let him know. Yeah. <laughs> um. We got a hundred pounds of this shit, by the way. Yeah, but you do. We have no? an entire mine. The mine is ours. We we told it's it's um, our fucking mine. He comes back, and he has your sword. Um, what up, E? Give me a second, so yep. that you know. Um, your sword. Um, is stupid now. Um, it's not stupid. I can't find. It's a perfectly good sword. Okay. <laughs> Oh, here it is. Class features, maybe? Magical tinkering? No. Nope. Infuse uh, items? Oh, there, no. What? It'll be under infusion on the, on the... Artificial infusions. Here we go. There it is. Um, So, it is an enhanced weapon now. Okay. Um, the magical weapon uh, grants a plus one to bonus attacks and damages rolls made with it, which it already is. But... Uh, now that he's enhanced it, it's actually a plus two. So look for a longsword plus two, essentially. Oh, okay. Anytime you're free this week, dog, just let me know the day beforehand, um, and I'll fucking run some D&D with you, dog. If you want me to look for it, I can look for it if it makes it easier for you. Uh, longsword plus one. Longsword plus two. Just add that. Yeah, add it. And get cool. rid of your plus one. 
Uh, and he comes back, and he looks, and he's like, oh, that rock. Yep. Mine? Uh, for exploding arrows, all yours, dog. How many? Fifteen. He runs away. Yep. You hear an explosion. Comes back with fourteen. One of them exploded. How easily? I picked it up. Um, are these going to be okay? Yeah, they should be fine. Sure. I put them in my quiver. Okay. I will, I'll make some arrows for you and I'll write down what they do. Okay. Um, rock, mine now? Yeah, yes. absolutely. All yours. He, he grabs the rock and he throws it on the ground and watch it. It breaks, and he begins. Uh, you watch as he takes the pieces, and he walks to a table that's right next to you guys, and you see this small like boat, and he begins to tinker, and after a good five ten minutes, you watch the boat begin to hover. Son of a bitch! Their brooms don't aren't. <laughs> I can make things fly now. Yes. I'm going to be rich! And he runs around in circles. <laughs> yes, yes, yes! How much do you have? I need pay. Eight! Sir, I'm going to need you to uh, give us a minute while we uh, talk amongst ourselves. Cool? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything. Yeah. I walk back. Look at Alistair. How much do we have? Follow. Same. How much do we have? Got a, we got a hundred pounds of this shit, my dude. A hundred pounds on us right now, and we have everything in that cave. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like think. Um. So does that mean that we can make things fly? Why would we do it when we could have him do it and then also benefit from the profit of it? Business. Business. You're not thinking about swindling this man? No. Well, no. I, we're trying to come out on top with every deal we make. That's just that's, that's business sense 101, right? D&D, E. D&D, &D, mm -hmm. man. But I think we trade. What the fuck do you think this guy has? He's got exploding arrows. I already like it. I think he's got bombs. You see bombs? No. He has two bombs in his hand. Oh, Jesus. Shit. Okay. Whoa, 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 buddy. Accurate, by the way. No bombs? No, no, no bombs. No bombs. 50 nah. gold apiece. Nah. Can you throw them? Uh, yes. Ooh. I'll take both of those. Okay. Okay. I take those two bombs. Uh, Subtract 100 gold. gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And I hand them to Alistair. You want me to put these in the bag of holding? No. Those are your new ranged weapons when shit is too far for you to hit with your sword. Oh! I will... I will figure out bombs. I, you did this to yourself, dog. <laughs> oh, no, I it, know. I was like, is I, that in the item list? <laughs> maybe. You never know with gonna, uh, critical roll. Yeah, there's, there's definitely going to be weird shit. There is actually bomb. Oh shit! As an action, a character can light this bomb and throw it up to sixty feet away. Each creature within five feet of this point must succeed on a DC twelve dexterity saving throw or take three D six fire damage. Nice. You have two of those now. Nice. <laughs> you have a efficient ranged weapon. I can. Ooh, give me bombs. Uh. Okay. Give, give the bombs back to the weird hyperactive man. Okay, here's, here's the bombs, my dude. <laughs> he takes them and runs away and comes back and he has like a sash with the bombs attached and he hands it to you. <laughs> yeah. I like this. Yep. I have more. Do you want more bombs? I okay. Have more bombs. Well, wait, wait. How much of that weird glowing rocks? Do you need? 
He looks over at Delilah. Uh, about a metric ton. How much is that? A lot. Ah, uh, gotcha. <laughs> Um, that's like 2,000 pounds. Mm -hmm. So we have 75 pounds of it on us. Oh, I can give you. I can give you more. I can give you money. Let's work out a deal. There's a cave in Opal City. Opal City? Opal City, where this stuff Village. lives. Opal Village. can barter trade where you can get a metric ton and you can finish whatever it is you're doing here I'm intrigued by the floating ship oh I want in deal deal what do you want I want, uh, I, more I want, bombs no I, I, I want in on the deal cannon and he pulls out a cannon holy shit what is that that's a ranged weapon! A good one! It's bigger than him. It, I, yeah. You're okay. Can I carry though. this thing? You probably he... could. I'd do oh. so much damage with that. Can, can I be like one of those guys, like the new Final Fantasy 16? The guys who just like have the giant cannon and stuff? Yes! <laughs> oh god. It's definitely better than the revolver I tried to give you. Revolver? You want that too? Let me see. Let Here. me see. I give him. I give him the. Revolver. He takes the revolver, runs away, comes back with it. Here. I take the revolver. Uh, you now now it is plus one to attacks, and if you have no ammunition in it. You can shoot a magic bullet. Like a frame Roger Rabbit magic bullet? Do I have to pull a D4 to see what it does? Uh, if you load no ammunition in the weapon, it produces its own. Automatically creating one piece of magic ammunition when you make a ranged attack with it. The ammunition created by the weapon uh, vanishes the instant after it hits or misses a target. You have infinite ammo on that gun now. And it's a plus one <laughs> to attacks. So find a whatever that weapon you have, find it with a plus one and just know you have infinite ammo. Hey, just wondering how much would I have to spend to fill out this uh the sash that I'm wearing? How many bomb splots do I have on here? Uh six. So I need four more? Yep. I'd like to buy those, please. He... More bombs? I can bring four bombs. And he runs away and he comes back with four bombs he's kind of holding. 200 gold. Oh, I got you, buddy boy. Thank you. He runs away and comes back with a lantern. Looks at you guys. Want this too? But what does that do? Oh. You don't know? Sure! I, I found it. <laughs> we'll take the lantern, strange little fella. <laughs> anything for... Anything for Boom Boom. I don't know, Amor, let's just go with it. What was your name, by the way? <laughs> My name's Vinto. Cool. Vinto. Vinto Santor. Catch your clips are in, the paper clips. Um. <laughs> uh, add a lantern of revealing to your inventory, whoever took it. That's you, Alistair. Oh, okay, cool. I'll put it in the bag. Just writing everything so it's down. Lantern of revealing? Yep, yep. All right, it's in there. Okay. Anything else? Nope. Uh, but here, we, we have a deal, right? Whatever enterprise you're doing here with all these glowing rocks, we want in. Uh, as you say that, Delilah has a paper contract. 
Here, sign the bottom. I would like to read the contract. Okay. Terms uh, and condition. Uh, I'm printing everything. <laughs> terms of condition, basically, uh, he is creating something, and any profits that he sees from this, you will get 45%. 45 all right uh done fuck yeah done i i sign <laughs> okay i also hand him 75 pounds and, up the and it's 45 percent divided between the four of you yeah. yeah 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 okay what did you hand to him the 75 fuck pounds of the rock that i told him that we had oh he takes it he's like yes yes do you have a map to place so I know where to go. Uh, Tyson. If you, <laughs> huh? If yes. You have a map. Do, do you have I a map? I can do it for you. Uh, map to the Opal Opal Village. Oh, I know how to get to Opal Village, but I don't know how do we, how do I get to the cave? Okay, so you know where the lake is in yeah, in Opal. Yeah. So yeah. that that island that's right in the middle. Okay. That that's our island. The, the okay. cave is on on the island. Okay. Stars. Okay. You're definitely going to see people there mining. Just tell them that he sent you. I'll blow them up. Nope. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No boom booms. <laughs> no boom boom? No, they, they work for us. If anything, oh. they might help you mine. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Don't blow up the people we saved. No boom okay. boom. Uh no hey, Vinny. Boom. Can I call you yeah. Vinny? Yeah. Tiny sure. Boom Boom if you want to. Tiny Boom Boom? Tiny Boom Boom. Just to make the mining process faster? He pulls out two sticks of dynamite. Tiny Boom Boom. That works. Tiny Boom Booms. Got it. Make sure no one's in there. Make sure no one's in there. Make Tiny Boom Boom. Got it. Yes. There we go. Somehow I feel like a bad idea. <laughs> That'll be fine. But I'm about it. Cool. Tyson, are, are we staying here for the night? Uh, it's midday. Um, we just keep going. Uh, going? We're a day and a half away from okay. the city. I wanted to make sure that we weren't stopping here for the night with no. all the oh, uh... explosives right here. No, no, no. Hey, Amaryllis or Rossi, you want anything from here? Are you asking me if I want a bomb? I'm not asking if you want a bomb. I just didn't know if there's anything you would maybe be looking for. I'm I'm fine. Would, I'm would, just... would you like a bomb? I got six of them. I don't. I don't want to carry anything like a I bomb. I can make your armor better. My armor. Yeah. How so? Well, I can make you resistant to something. What makes you go boom? <laughs> I say you should take him up on it. I'm buying. Hmm. Well. <laughs> All right. All right. What resistance would you like to add to your armor? Mm, what are my options? Uh, acid, cold, fire, force, lightning, necrotic, poison, psychic, radiant, or thunder. Ooh. Um, I think fire. Fire? All right. Um, let me see if I can just do a mental add. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Um. Oh, hey Nordic, I'm gonna text you something really quickly. Okay. Wait, you already have resistance to fire. Holy shit! Oh shit! Yeah. Due to the starlight medallion, is there another one you uh would like? Ooh. Probably. 
think uh, radiant. Uh, you're immune to radiant. Damn. <laughs> A psychic. Psychic. All right. Good I'll pick. Add... Good pick. I'll make sure to add psychic enemies to our uh, inventory. Don't Fuck. do that. Just so you get use out of the psychic. No. Awesome. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. All right. Amaryllis? I mean, unless you have any star maps here. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't think I... Ah. Uh... I don't know anything about stars, but I know things about rings. He pulls out a ring. Want it? Huh? 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 I don't know. What does it do? Does it make stuff go boom? Um, while wearing this ring, their creature can recover one expended spell slot as an action. The recovered slot can be a third level or lower. Once used, the ring can't be used again until the next dawn. Artificers, dog! I'm telling you! I mean... Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> Okay. Take that. Mm. Um, what kind of character you, you create over there? A badass one. I miss this guy. Can you make my armor better? Oh shit! I ooh, do. You, are you wearing armor? <laughs> I'm wearing leather. Oh yeah, I can make your armor better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bedazzle it. Fuck yeah. Got a sparkle like the diamonds in the sky. Go. You know, I, I'm, I'm going to do a, a logistical ask right here. Just, just you know, between yeah. me and you. I need to make that spell healing ring for you. Did you make him a level uh, a level 15 and above at this point? Maybe. Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. He might be level 16. You never know. It's been yeah. a year. Yeah, this it's is, been a long year. This um, is, uh, yeah. You said you wanted to upgrade your armor. Ah, oh, I, uh, you seem, uh, squishy. I can make it less squishy. That would be great. Um, he takes your armor and runs away and comes back. Um, so find leather armor plus two. Because I think that's that's should have a seven, right? Yeah. Yeah, I should be good. Stop. I'm not seeing anything with plus two. Where is it? Uh, I'll just I'll find it for you. Leather. Got it. Okay. All right. Is there anything else you guys want? Vinny, More I boom booms? Uh, hmm. I can show you how it works. By all means, show us how it works. Okay, he runs out the door. I follow him. Where's everyone else yeah. do? Yeah, come on, come on. Yeah. He, he pulls out a match. Watch, and he flicks it on uh, the side of his uh, belt, and he you watch as he lights a fuse, and the fuse begins to burn, and he goes, and he goes to throw it, and it falls directly on the ground, <laughs> and he runs. <laughs> uh, I run with him, <laughs> and the bomb just explodes in a ten foot radius. <laughs> So you, you can make him go farther than that, right? Like, you can just throw the shit out of him? I, I can't throw. He can, though. I'm pretty oh, yeah. sure he can, yeah. 
here. He lights another one and hands it to the uh to you, Alistar. Throw it! Jesus fucking Christ, I throw, throw it! it. <laughs> throw uh roll a strength check for me. Okay. <laughs> Fifteen. Fifteen. Easy enough. You toss it about a good forty five feet or so. <laughs> and after as it lands it explodes on impact. Bro. This is gonna be a thing. <laughs> I can make more. Bigger. You can make bigger? <laughs> Always bigger, bigger, better. I siege castles. You do? I did. You did? Once. Yeah. How'd that go? <laughs> almost lost my hand. You see, like, he's missing a, a pinky almost. <laughs> Occupational hazard, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I forgot that. You did that by yourself? <sighs> the Lila. Delilah help. Yeah. She seems nice. She's great. I bet. She keeps me in line. I'm a little... Good for you, bud. Oh, my fucking God. I just realized his, his wife is the lady that he talked to when we were doing that side quest. Uh-huh. Yeah, the flower lady that yeah. I said was... She, she was a really pretty fairy lady. Oh, and my I, God. Yeah. What a, what, a, what, a, what, a, what a wonderful world. Yeah. Um, I'm super happy right now. Super happy. Be a dead body preserved in the back somewhere because I was on the way. But I, Vinny, it, this has been great. I don't think we want to carry any more bombs today. But if we need to do some sieging, I know a guy, right? Yeah, yeah. Me and my buddy will help. Cool. There's Your two of you. Buddy? Yeah, I have a partner inside. He's in back sleeping, I think. Nice. That's that's nice. Okay. I think we should, you know, keep going. Want to blow up a castle today? Blow up a castle now? Yeah, we can. I know a few. So do we. You know what? You just know a few castles to go blow up? Yeah. Yeah. Some rich pricks in Emerald City, you know. Oh, they're they funny. got it coming to them. Uh, uh, we don't want a Sapphire City Junior. I, I, I think we're fine. Okay. Eat, eat the rich, Vinny. I'm right there with you. <laughs> I steal everything. Yeah. Eat. Okay. Bye. Bye. Back inside as he runs and Tyson's walking out. Uh, have see you again, uh, Ben. Bye, Tyson. Strange little fellow. I know, right? Yet he he's, seems oddly familiar. He's he's a nice guy once you get to know him. I, you know what? He was like a super nice guy. Like offer. I didn't even pay him. For, uh, I, uh, I'm assuming the contract. Yeah, I'm also the 75 pounds playing yeah, magical energizer batteries. Um, uh, you hear another small explosion inside. Small explosion. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm okay. Good to know. He's okay, everybody. I I was just I've been his navigator a few times. He pays well. <laughs> He's a lovely fellow. Wife is fucking awesome, by the way. She was, like, really nice, right? She is the scariest lawyer I've ever met. <laughs> He's a lawyer? A lawyer. Yeah. The fact that lawyers a lawyer. in, in D and D makes me want to hit you so hard. <laughs> She's not a lawyer. She's good at contracts. Yeah, yeah. I could tell by the, you know, the long words that I had to sign under. This is. Did you great. read the fine print? I did read the fine print. Okay, you. She owns a portion of that lake now. Not my, not my portion. 
Uh, but are you, uh, you guys are off. Uh, you continue your journey. Um, this is your final night's rest and your final day. Um, so I'll need the final D20 as you make your way to Emerald City. Oh, shit. That? I thought it was me. Oh, I just rolled. I'm sorry. Yeah, I have, uh, Alistair beat me to it, so 16. 16? All right. Um, easy enough. You begin to make your way to Emerald City, and on arrival, you see these massive, massive walls. Um, beautiful emerald um, banners. Uh, open gate. You see people going in and out. You see soldiers all along the uh, top soldiers in front inspecting carriages as people are going in and out um it's very it is very uh busy this time of the morning um kaisen uh well this is the southern gate um i have to make a side stop to the guild hall to inform them that my um employer passed away and so the contract is now null and void sorry about that oh i don't care i got paid beforehand and after yeah um if you want you can hit on D, &D cities and towns and that is emerald city um and the layout that's a big city Uh, you guys walk in and uh, you see a giant fountain in the center and a bunch of like stalls and merchants like spread out through the inner plaza um, well paved road uh, inner, uh, but there's hints of green everywhere just to make it lively um, off in the distance you do see a massive building uh, but you also see that there are medium-sized walls to kind of divide the districts. Not as tall as the outside walls, but tall enough that there are guards posted uh, overlooking the city. Um, and Kaisen begins to uh, make his way through the city. Um, if anyone wants to take a break now, we can. Yes. I'm gonna be adding a bunch of stuff about you. Okay. Oh, hey, uh, Iceman. Yeah. Uh, the reason I texted Nordic was just to remind me. So those bombs I have, they're in my inventory, but I can't, like, set them to, like, my, like, action space. So okay. I just have, to, just have to remember that I have them. So I remember I can use them in fights and stuff like that. Uh, inventory. Uh, where are the bombs? Where are the bombs? Where are the bombs? Uh, they're under the potion of healing greater under my in my inventory in my equipment. Well, bombs, six. Um, customize. Uh. Oh wow. Uh. I'm Oh. Huh. I mean, unless you just want to make me something, I can just take those out for now. Um, no, they're fine. I I was just looking because typically, uh. Some things you can customize and give them an action, mm. uh, but those you can't. So yeah, just remember you have bombs. Okay, okay. I'll just like make myself a note. <laughs> okay. All right, I'll be right back. Okay.
Uh, inventory, manage inventory, bombs, bomb. Uh, action. The goggles do not require a human. Nope. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I was supposed to make something else real quick. Oh, yeah. Other plus two. Good. She already got that. I didn't have to create that. Oh wait, I wonder. I wonder if someone already created it. Hopefully. What do you think? Oh my god. Hmm. The ever smoking bottle can absolutely reach its maximum radius of 120 feet. Yep. Yep. Uh, who did I give the spell of healing to? Uh, Alistair. I'm back, sorry. Okay, uh, Alistar, refresh and see if that worked. Refresh, uh, okay. I mean, I know I have a ring that does stuff, but I think the lantern is in Alistair's hands. Yeah, I gave you the ring of spell. Yeah, I've got the uh, got the lantern in the bag of holding. Ring of spell refueling. That's it. Anti equipment. There we go. There you go. Uh, you now oh yeah, bombs there now. Thank you so much. No problem. I created a custom action and stuff, and it's pretty easy. Copying pasta. So, you have the spell of, or the ring of spell refueling now in your inventory. Um, 
Amaryllis. So once a day you can do things with it. Is there anything else that I had I created or did? Um, oh, so that's what the that lantern does, gotcha. Okay. Uh, is everyone back and ready? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Glad the demon dog is back too. Yeah. Um, Rasia, are you back? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I, I didn't leave, so. I wasn't sure. Uh, I didn't know it's who went to take a break or not. I can't find the populous map. But anyway, um, you guys begin to travel and you head. Um, follow um what's his face uh kaisen and holy fuck you guys end up in front of a massive building um uh, and it's like a brick building. It's about two stories, and on uh, the top of it is called uh, just named Steelhaven. And you guys walk in, and there are it's pretty pretty empty, uh, but there are there's like a bar off to the side, and there's a bunch of tables. Um, there's one person in a far table drinking. Uh, you see a bulletin board on the left, and then you see a front desk where there is a single woman working. Um, you, uh... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah, here we go. Um, you watch as um, Kaisen walks up to her. It's like, ah, it's good to see you again, Emily. She's like, oh, you made it back safely, I see. Well, that's good. Oh, yes, about that. I made it back safely. But my employer did not. Oh, that's quite unfortunate. Yes, some... She... I think she was doing... Necromantic magic and summoned a demon and it killed her. Oh. Interesting. Um, well, I will make sure to let the headmaster know. Sounds good to me. Are there any other jobs needing of me that will be on my way? Um, not that I'm aware of. No one is looking to commission your services of today. Okay. Um, and he looks back at the four of you. Um, do you guys want to register with the guild? What does that entail? Of... Yeah. Um, they put job postings on the wall over there and have a nice little payout on some of them uh anywhere between guarding uh tradesmen or uh following trade routes um what i do navigate um also clear the edge of town uh where the forest is uh there's heavy groups of monsters that and wildlife that appear and that need to be calling sometimes It's free.
Yeah, I do. Well, I don't plan on staying here for that long. And uh, she. Oh, it also comes with a map. I do. Here's a map of the city, the map of the region, and the map of the country. Take the map. All right. Uh, can I get your name? Hide. All right. Uh, she writes something down, and she hands you a card, and it basically has your name on it. Steel ha uh, Haven Guild. Uh, and your rank of zero currently. Cool. Okay, so it's far away, grab the um Does anyone else want to register? I'll pass. Okay. Sure. Alright, uh, she doesn't hand you any maps because your friend had already taken some, but she gives you, uh, what's your name? Uh, Alistar. Alright, uh, she writes some few things down and she hands you a card. It says Alistar, Steelhaven Guild, and your rank of zero. Cool. Um, yeah, uh, if you gain a high enough rank, you might get special requests, like Kaisen does, and which comes with bonuses. Bonus. Yep. They are indeed. Uh, but the food and drink here are free for guild members, and as well as uh, a night's stay, if you wish to stay. We have rooms as well. Oh, that sounds amazing. Uh, here, right? I... I think so, yeah. Did, did we? Was there somebody? Are you sure? Uh, the only thing uh, you were going to uh, do was visit um, Kaisen's mentor. There was nothing really like set in stone uh, for Emerald City. Because uh, Amaryllis wanted to see Kaisen's mentor. Correct. Yes. Yes. Uh, you, uh, well, it's best we stay the night because his... His place is a day travel outside of the city, farther north, going towards the forest. So if there's anything, if you wish to explore the city, we can, I can lead you around. Or if you just want to explore it on your own, and I can do the ordinance that I need to do while I'm here. Let's do the separate, we meet back here. Tonight, for dinner. Yeah. Sounds good. And he heads off. It's still like noon, right? Yeah, it's roughly noon-ish. Probably a little bit earlier. Probably like 11-ish. Alistair, you look at the board. You gotta go kill. Uh, okay, what's on the board? Uh, do you head over to the board? I do head over to yes. the board. Um, going over the board, there are there's three jobs posted currently. A job to hunt down uh what's ever stopping the trade routes to the north something's inter interrupting uh tradesmen from going in and out okay um second is a investigation on uh the disappearance of certain workers in a mine to the south and then the third one is uh, a job entailing um, uh, not grave robbing. Um, what's the word called? Um, exploring some ruins to the north and search for just any odds and ends and 
Are any of these jobs close by? All of them are within a day. Um, each one has a price tag. Um, the the protecting of the trade routes is fifty gold per head of whatever beast you kill. Um, okay. The missing uh, peoples is undetermined amount. Uh, depending uh, and more of uh, find out what's happening, let us know, and we'll give you a sum depending on the condition of the people and what's actually going on. So it could be anywhere between a hundred gold to a thousand gold. Okay. Um, and then the ruins is five thousand gold per person, and uh, fifty percent of the spoils that you can find within the ruins. Yeah. I your choice, buddy. I wanna go see what's making here. Cool. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. I grabbed that one from the board. <laughs> okay. Um uh, do you head over to the reception? I do. Okay. Uh, the woman standing there. Uh, Auburn hair, bright blue eyes, fair skin, with a smile. Oh, you already wish to do a job? Yes. Oh, let me see. I hand it. She looks, oh, this one specifically uh, put in by the guildmaster herself. Um, we have, there's a mine, and some of our people have been going missing that we send there to work it uh, during certain times of year for materials that the city may or may not need. And as of late, they're not coming back. Okay. Um, we wish to know if they're A, just not coming back and stealing the materials, or B, something actually happened to them. Done. Go. Go. Um, here, I can show you the direction you need to go, you need to go on your map, if you wish. And for the... Okay, and she points. It's a bit south. Uh, looks probably about uh, half a day's travel, maybe a little bit more. Okay. There is no time limit on this request. Okay. Done. Cool. Uh, who's the last person to come back successfully from this place? We're not sure. It's been that long. It's been about six months. Ooh. We we have about 20 to 30 missing people. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, um, the latter half, last five or six people, were adventurers and guild members, whereas the first half were actual workers. And we weren't informed until a little bit after. Okay. So, awesome. Yeah. But we can't go today. Not today, no. Damn. Go walk. So, uh, it's dinner time. I saw a bunch of, uh, large stuff by the water fountain came in, right? Yeah. Um, most of them were, like, foods and stuff. There were no, like, uh, weaponry or, like, um, essential, there were, like, Baskets, uh, easy to make foods, uh, fruits and vegetables, uh, things to make food, um, ingredients for food, um, some herbs and stuff, but nothing like spectacular, at least from what you saw. Team, what do you guys want to do for five, six, seven hours? Huh. 
Huh. Yeah. Not used to having this much downtime. <laughs> Dude. Oh, yeah? Any cool places to see in this town, according to the map? Look at the map. Uh, you look at the map. Uh, there's a few things marked. There is um, Bella's Emporium in the shopping district. The ha Hammer and Anvil in the shopping district. Um, there is the Golden Lily Theater. In the Noble District, Ooh. there is the Emerald Inn in the Population District, um, the Healing Haven in the Population District, um, the Hall of Divine Knowledge in the uh, Temple District, um, the Emerald Pearl Tavern in the Market District, um, the Warehouse Exchange in the Market District, uh, there's the Starlight Studio in the Artisan's Quarter, um, there is the Mystic me men a gear uh, men, men i don't even fucking know in the artisan quarter uh you menagerie menagerie thank you the mystical menagerie um there's the steel haven guild which is where you're at and then there is the shiny sipper tavern in the shopping district ouch there is a uh, several places marked on this map. I think there's a little bit for everyone. Hey, Rossia, I think there's a place that even, you know, you may be interested in. Yeah, I was thinking about going to that healing place. Oh, well, two places that might be, because I thought you were wanting to take a look at the divine. The library? Yeah. Yeah, that that too. But I I think the healing place is probably where I'd want to go first. Okay. So there there's that. It's right here. Go the map there. I don't know if I've got it like on the table and it or Yeah, I'll say you're at one okay. of the many tables. Amaryllis, is there anywhere that, you know, speaks to you? I could go to that magic shop and see if they have maps. Our maps would be more specific. Okay. I think I'll go there. Alistair? Uh, I don't know. The anvil place sounds pretty cool. Might go see if they have any cool like weapons or anything. That's what I was. Uh, I think I'm right there with you. Check out the the end, uh, hammer and anvil. I don't think we should go to that last place ever. Like, let's never set foot in that tavern. Uh, also, um, you know, I don't ever think I'll be visiting any theater whatsoever. Oh, is there a reason why? <laughs> I don't like theater. Oh, I love the theater. That's cool. Yeah, uh, plus we have to get, you know, license stuff on your blade. Uh, that is true. Oh, maybe they have some, maybe they know they're at the anvil place. Yep, maybe. Have a better lead than what we have. I think this is a good plan. Yep. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, would you get uh, since it's only nine minutes? Would you guys like to stop here and just make plans for the next session or continue? Mm -hmm. For nine I'm minutes, to, I'm gonna stop here and make plans for next session. Yeah. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Because I have all these things made, but some of these shops I don't have items created for them. So I have to roll some dice, and I probably could have just rolled some stuff as we were going, but it gives me time to flesh out 
more of the items that are actually available for you. To you guys. I, I can probably steal Ashley and have her roll some D100 for, for me to see uh, how lucky or unlucky you guys get. Oh, unlucky. But yeah, I hope you guys... guys I hope you guys enjoyed the session. I hope uh, any questions, comments, and concerns, everything got updated that needed to get updated. Um, also, yeah. I lied to you guys. Um, you you are three milestones away from level 10 now. I thought it was going to take three sessions. It only, it's probably only going to take two. It all depends on next session, actually. Ooh. So yeah. yeah, the campaign can end right now, and I'd be happy. Okay. Um. So as you guys are standing in the center of the ta uh the building, you hear a meteor crash and kills everyone. Nice. But Vintu is out there, and he's still alive. Um. The meteor was no, a thousand no. miles long. No, nope. and... no, he didn't. Nope. <laughs> uh, flattened the whole country, and everyone is dead. Besides Grandma Sona. Who is a treasure, and she will never be harmed. Ever. Ever. Any questions, comments, concerns, um, advice? Um, not advice, but, you know, like... I, I don't know what the word I was looking for. I don't know. Nope. Yeah. I will see... Yeah. Um, so, let's see. We will all be here next week, right? The 30th? Yes. 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 Okay. Uh, then the week after, half of us are... No, all of us are not going to even be around, so... Yeah. Unless Kenny wants to do a one-shot with himself. You can. Wait, what's the week after? The week after uh, is my birthday. It's and also my birthday. His birthday. And my birthday. And her birthday. <laughs> and... Yeah. It's everyone's our birthday. It's everyone's well, birthday. Me, I weekend. guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, well. You'll get yours in September. Hush. Yeah. That's fair. Uh, I'm not going anywhere. I'm actually going to stay That's... here. So. Actually, I'm going to go to hang out with uh, Ashley. Wherever she is on my screen. You, no, that's absolutely correct. You right there. Cute. Take you selfies. That's good. Because I'm selfies. going to Dorney Park that weekend. So that works out perfectly. Nice. Be. Nice. Job. I'm gonna be at the fair. That sounds yes. good. Fair food. It's is it, good. it's gonna be pirate themed. Ooh. Is it? Yeah. Then definitely take pictures. Oh yeah. That's what I was told. I. Oh wait. You said oh. two weekends from now? Yes. Yeah. You have a six. Never mind that shit. I'm at the Ren Fair that weekend. Never mind. Oh, <laughs> yeah. you're going to the Ren Fair, bro? You take That's opening pictures. weekend. That's opening yes. weekend. Yes. So. Take pictures. I will absolutely. Everybody take pictures. I, I, I want to go. I want to go with Kenny. His fucking turkey I mean, legs are fire. They are a really cool place. And yes. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, guys. Y'all have a good one. I had tons of fun. I'll see y'all later. Bye. Bye, guys. All right, chat. I appreciate y'all hanging out and doing the thing. Y'all have a great fucking rest of your uh weekend whatever's left of it and uh yeah y'all have fun <laughs>